after the storm uh, in uh, the end of October, a group of folks came together that was a combination of nonprofits, uh, churches, civic organizations, and the city of Brigantine. And we formed Brig Strong as a way to respond uh, to the disaster and to have a mechanism that, unlike the city, was able to receive donations from outside the community uh, to coordinate the help that we knew would be coming eventually and to uh, start to uh, put a public effort together to help all of our neighbors rebuild. Um, we've been able to raise uh, resources and funds and distribute those to individuals who are uh, trying to recover from the disaster. Uh, we've, uh, uh, in the past, we've uh, done the first wave of response and we've organized the resources that have come in and distributed those. Now we're in a phase of giving uh, good information to people. That's been an important uh, aspect of, of the disaster is to make sure people have the best information possible. And uh, we're moving into the construction phase, which is to, now that people have the information, they have their plans together, uh, we're going to help them to augment their costs by uh, providing volunteer labor and materials when possible. Today's effort is a part of our work uh, in collaboration with the Atlantic County Long-Term Recovery Group. Brigantine uh, can't do this by ourselves. We've been closely partnering with the county effort and the county has organized volunteers through the United Way and uh, they have volunteers here today that wanted to do a project that would move us forward. Actually, we're gonna be building uh, a uh, fitness trail that was destroyed in the storm. And what this does is uh, it not only helps us in terms of uh, being responsive and uh, hospitable to the, the many people that will be coming to Brigantine this summer, but it also gives our public works crew a break because they would do this if we didn't have volunteers to do it. And they have been so busy all year long. Uh, we're trying to do anything we can to help our public works crew um, uh, stem the tide of all of the disaster recovery stuff that they've had to do.